What is going on, everybody? Boruto episode three. I always keep forgetting that this episode's coming out on Wednesday until I log into my YouTube and I see my subscription box that everyone's already started to react to it. So, Boruto episode three. I think we get to see a lot of Metal Lee, who I'm under the impression is Lee's kid. Has that been confirmed that he is Lee's kid? But under, to my understanding, it is not confirmed who his mom is. Um, so, because my guy is not Lee's dad. That's been confirmed. Um, or not confirmed, but we just know that that's not his dad. But supposedly Metal Lee's dad is Lee. Can we confirm that 1010 is the wife? Can we ship that? You guys let me know who the parents of Metal Lee are. Episode 3, let's go ahead and start it. I love how Shino has those beetle things right there to hold his uh, collar together. They try to take my man out. What the fuck is that? I was about to say, where did you even get that from? Did everyone's watching? So he is just like Lee, but he freaks out under pressure. Because I remember back in the day, um, Lee in the original Naruto, especially in the Academy days, before people started using Bijou bombs and Mangekyo Renegons and Susanos and all this random... Planet Buster stuff. Lee was the top uh, at their level when they were kids. Um, at least in the Leaf Village. Clearly he lost to Gaara. Um, so you could say Gaara was better at that point. But um, Lee was what everyone was chasing. He took out Sasuke. Um, Naruto wasn't really like considered a threat then. And Lee was on top. And then we all kind of know how that story ended up. Yo, someone watch my man right now. He is freaking me out. That's what I'm saying. Coming from you, saying you shouldn't talk to someone like that. So does she stay? She stays in the Leaf Village. Then I don't know why I never had the answer to that question. Cause like she still does she still serve and report to Gara? Like does she still escort him around with Conqueror, or is that not a thing? God, Shikamaru doesn't even look like he used to at all. They changed his facial expressions completely. His name really is Metal. His eye! What? Oh god, he's gonna go on a rampage. So we've gotta discuss what this is. That keeps like, it keeps getting... I wanna say it keeps taking over the, the weak hearts or the weak minds that are impressionable, that want power. <clears throat> Is he activating that himself? What is that dragon? They're already asking this man for a strategy? I need him to sit down and put his hands like this. <clears throat> Just go find a teacher. I 
Now, <clears throat> from Boruto the movie, I don't know if he's made it to that far yet, but Shikadai's shadow possession, at least at this age, was a lot better than Shikamaru's was. I like how his ninja art has color to it. It was a clone. Oh, they're good. <clears throat> that was, oh God. He's gonna break the shadow. Yeah, somebody do it. <clears throat> He's gonna break it. He's out. <laughs> He's gonna knock himself out. That works. And then I'll leave him. We gotta get to the bottom of what that is. Neji. We need confirmation of what that is and what's going on with his eye. He's going to freak out. <gasps> I'd be so pissed. That's it. I thought the episode was great. We'll wait for the uh, episode four preview. But I really like, even in the beginning of Naruto, we never really got episodes dedicated to other characters that really didn't have anything to do focused around Sasuke or Naruto. Everyone was either teamed up with one of them, trying to find one of them or get to help one of them. Um... That didn't even seem like a Boruto, like, title anime to me right there. Because we got so much Shikadai development. And we saw Lee stuff. And I thought it was pretty great. Like, Boruto was just a back thought to me. But what we need to figure out is, is that Byakugan? Is that Tensei gone? We need confirmation. Um, it looked there like he was flipping it on and flipping it off. I don't know. And then... What is that that's possessing them? Does it is it only going to possess kids because maybe when they get weak-minded or weak-hearted, it'll take over them to give them the power that they're searching for to become strong? Can it affect anybody? Could it affect Naruto or Sasuke or whoever? And is it like a natural force? Is it coming from Orochimaru somewhere in the woods? <laughs> like, what is happening? We need to figure it out. Um, but here comes the episode preview for episode four. <clears throat> Let me prepare a fighting ring? What? She knows just letting them duke it out? 
that should be an interesting episode. But let me know what you guys think of my question. Do you think he's getting better? Because we didn't see it at all. And a lot of people said in Boruto the movie, which happens after this, he doesn't turn that on once. Um, and we also didn't see or any mention of that purple chakra or a snake thing. So we'll see. Like, share, favorite, subscribe. Episode 4 next week. And as always...